the problem was was that he has a very active right hip flexor which he's using to pull himself forwards into anterior pelvic tilt right but it's not the motor activity we want for anterior pelvic tilt so what I had Sarah do was keep the right pelvis stable and bring his left pelvis into a more symmetrical alignment to begin with. Then, now that I've got his left ilium where I want it, now I can give him the feeling of selective extension through the lumbar spine, which is what I want as my initiator for anti-gravity activity through from a sacral initiative, which gives me linear acceleration. If I don't do that, and I allow him to use his hip flexor on the right, I don't know whether you can do this for me. I can try. Use, if you use your hip flexor, hang on a minute, no, no. If you use your hip flexor, what that does is it pulls you forwards. It doesn't take you up. So look at her head, right? If I can stabilize anteriorly, and I can put in the information to get from a sacral initiative, his lumbar sacral extension, she rises. Do you see that? If I don't do that, and I allow the patient to just use their strategy, which in this patient was right hip flexion to get into standing, when she uses the right hip flexion, she goes forwards, but she doesn't go up. So he's not unloading his trunk to be able to select the selective movement in his pelvis, right? This is a fundamental principle of the Bobath concept. In order for Sarah to select selective lumbar sacral extension, she's got to be stable in her thorax above and she's got to be stable in her fem femurs below.